this is um, a little LM 386. A um, little 386 bass amplifier. For a mono amplifier with such a small amount of parts, um, it doesn't doesn't at all sound too bad. It doesn't sound too bad at all, even. Um, on mine, I've made sure that I've got the negative side. Uh, keeping them separate, basically. Keeping that side of the negative separate from the power side of the negative. Um, and it doesn't sound particularly too bad. I don't really get any distortion. Uh, it does sound pretty good. I... Uh, I watched a few videos on YouTube about how to the, the proper layout um, <clears throat> with the grounds being very important. Um, but before I did this, I had ordered uh, a kit of the LM386. And I dug it out of the drawer earlier, uh, figuring I might just put this together. I've got quite a few kits that I haven't built yet. And this is one of them, so I'll put one out over the way, out of the way. And this is uh I can't remember, I got it off of eBay. <clears throat> I think the kit was only a couple of pounds and the way I look at it is you know the uh the element three eighty six. Depending where it's come from. <clears throat> Uh, you know, oh, that's worth a pound or something. But with the other bits, it's, it's worth it. Uh, and you get the little... The little PCB. The lighting's not the greatest. Uh, you get a little PCB. And, uh, and it's basically just a, a put it together. You do get some instruction. A, a nice, nice little schematic there. It's quite, quite easy to see what goes where. And I'm just trying to see if there's much difference between my circuit and this one, and I can see a difference so far. I've got a, uh, I've got a resistor. <clears throat> going from 7 to a capacitor to the ground. A 10k part, yeah, that's the same little capacitor. They've got a question there, I think mine's 470 pico. Uh, I don't have an LED. Let's see, yeah, so. I think what we should do is chip this together and, uh, and see what it sounds like. 